How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Manor Lords. I hope you're having a good one because I am so excited to be back. Things are going quite well in our settlement. We are building some more burgage plots at the moment. As you can see, we're going to have four more of them, which means we're going to have four more mouths to feed, but also four more sets of hands that can go to work for us and hopefully produce a bit more food and more resources so we can continue to expand and grow our settlement. We've also just got done going ahead and getting a bunch of wheat. So we now have some grain sitting in storage at this farm, which is very exciting because essentially that means we can assign a worker to this windmill and they can go and start getting some grain and start turning that into flour. What's also interesting is the fact that uh, as we start getting more workers here, I'm going to speed the game up so we can get them a little bit quicker. I can put people to work in the communal oven. So we are about to start making bread, which is kind of amazing. I'm also going to say that these guys are going to be getting some vegetable gardens as well, because vegetable gardens are kind of making the world go around right now. Uh, but as we're entering autumn, I mean, we have so many vegetables. We have 12 months worth of food supplies right now. So that's kind of good. That's kind of a fantastic thing. We'll give these guys a vegetable garden as well. And looking here, we actually do have some flour. So we should see in hopefully the not too distant future that flour get moved into the communal oven and then turned into bread. So it'll be another source of food for the people. Hopefully. There we go. We have some flour in the communal oven now, and it's now bread. So yes, we do in fact have another source of food for the people. And then obviously this farm is, uh, I'm not too sure what they're doing with it at the minute. There is actually a lot of grain in there. I'll tell you what I think we should look into doing. I feel like getting more people working in storehouses might be an idea. I feel like more storehouses themselves might just be an idea because it does seem like we are uh, a little bit low in storage space. So let's go ahead and put a storehouse. I'm going to say, I think a storehouse down here would be a pretty good idea. In fact, I'm going to just open this one up. I'm going to get rid of the work area on it and I am going to assign someone to work in there. And uh, we can probably go and do we have anyone working at this one? We do. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, we should have more families coming in here in just a second as well. So we can go ahead and get those guys uh, working wherever they want to go and work, which is perfect by me. But really, I guess the goal at this point is to get these burgage plots up to level two. And so to do that, we still need more options for clothing and we still need more options for entertainment. Now, the clothing situation is going to be an interesting one because uh, I believe I'm actually going to set this guy to flax and then fallow. This guy is barley and then emmer. So essentially, if we can get this flax and it's only going to be a little bit, that will be another source of clothing for these guys. I do need to go to industry, though, and I do need to get a weaver's workshop so that we can turn flax into linen. So the weaver's workshop, really, it could go over here. But I feel like the weaver's workshop could probably go... I don't know, somewhere like down here. I could rotate this around, put it right at the back of these houses, maybe turn off the snap to roads option and just do something like, uh, something like this, really. Right at the back of these houses, Weaver's Workshop. It seems a little bit far away from, uh, from everything, but I don't, I don't necessarily dislike that it's sort of in its own little, little patch of, uh, little patch of land there. So that's fine. That's where the Weaver can go and, uh, do their thing. Again, really far away from the uh, from the fields. Might not be the best idea, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's not going to be the end of the world. Now, let's see. This guy still has some flour. This guy has actually a lot of bread in there, which is making me think we might need another granary. So I think adding more people to... Hmm. Adding... We can either add more workers to this one granary, or we could just build another granary which I'm kind of inclined to say is, is what we should do. You know, build a granary kind of up this way. We could put it right next to the farm, actually, which would be close to this hunting area as well. So 
That would be one option. We could put it close to the windmill, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea either. It's quite close to the original one. Let's let's go here for now on this granary, since uh, it's it's close to the farm, it's close to this hunting, and I guess we can get a third one in the middle at some point. But that'll give us a nice little uh, spread for the granaries, and we can get some workers into that as soon as it's built. We can also speed the game up a little bit and get this uh, this burgage plot done a little bit sooner than later, because it is taking a little bit longer than I'd like. And then as soon as this is done, we'll have, once again, more workers who can go out and do what I need them to do, whatever that might be. I don't really have an idea for it yet, but it is nice having some, you know, excess workers at the minute. It's not something we've had the, uh, the luxury of having, so a bit of a nice change. I've also completed the Royal Tax Quest, which is really worrying. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> not, uh, not too sure what that means. Not really sure what the, what that quest being finished actually means, so... Little concerning. Definitely, uh, definitely a little bit concerned on, uh, on that one right there. Now, let's see. This thing is coming along. Let's prioritize this granary, please. These guys are actually out working the fields at the moment. And at the minute, the estimated harvest in 323 days is 222. There is an estimated harvest of 79 in 321 days and 170 in 320-ish days. So we're actually going to get a, a whole lot of flax here, which is good because that means essentially we can fulfill that need for... The wait, what are we harvesting? Are we getting barley as well? We are. Okay. So we do need to turn that flax into cloth at a weaver's workshop, which is this guy right here. So that is a must have. We do need someone working there at some point. And I guess what we could do once it's built is say that perhaps the weaver's workshop has uh, any idle workers going and working in it. But then when it comes to the barley, and that's a whole other thing, we need to turn barley into malt at a malt house, which, I mean, I guess it could go up here. I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if we sort of put the uh, put the malt house up there. Although we are also low on, uh, we are also, we're, we're, we're low on timber. This guy's procrastinating as well, which is a bit of a problem. I guess we also need someone to replant trees, don't we? We we do kind of need someone dedicated to that, so we'll get the uh, we'll get the forester's hut going, and for these guys, we'll just change their limited work area to this space, and uh, let's hope that they can go ahead and start, I don't know, moving things into uh, back into the logging camp, so we can start getting a bit more timber. It'd be kind of ideal. It'd be kind of great. I'd I'd like to build everything that I want to build. I'm also debating whether or not I want to build more fields on the side of this because I think what we could potentially do is bring a little road up at the side of this and then this is where we could build the malt house and where we could build the brewery. It wouldn't be a bad idea. It'd be next to where the uh, the, the barley is, is grown. I don't know if it's necessarily... Ooh. I need a worker for this granary as well. Uh, it would be next to where it's grown, and I think that would be a good idea, so I guess we'll give it a shot. I guess we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and extend a road just up like this. Let's extend a road just down like this. We'll bring that road sort of over a bit like this, and confirm, and then straight down like this, and confirm. Maybe a little bit too straight for this day and age, but that's, that's all right. Uh, we can get the malt house, and we can get the uh, the brewery. The brewery is a little bit bigger, so we'll do the brewery first, and then the malt house can go right next to it, right there. And that seems fine. That seems like a decent little space for both of those. We can get those built in hopefully no time at all. And then looking at supplies again, we have 13 months of food. We have 12 months of fu of uh, fuel. So really, all I'm thinking is at this point we should either get another woodcutter lodge or just get another woodcutter and uh then the food situation's okay if we have a year's worth of food going into january i mean we're doing fine a lot of that is still vegetables and honestly that's uh that is making me think that the 
the vegetable gardens are probably going to get nerfed. I don't, there, there is no way that these vegetable gardens are going to remain untouched going into early access and out of this demo and into the full game. There's no way <laughs> those things seem, uh, they seem a little bit overpowered. I, I'm not, I, not that I'm complaining. It just, it seems like I've kind of solved my food problem. Every house that I build just gets a vegetable garden and there you go. Problem solved. We're okay. So yeah, no, uh, no complaints from me on that one. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I, I kind of want to get some more, uh, I want to get more timber so I can build a few more burgage plots. And I mean, at that point, we can just go and put people working everywhere. I mean, as long as they have their vegetable gardens, they're okay. We can put one of them, you know, to work in the woodcutter lodge. We can go and get them working in the brewery in the malt house. And then all we need to build from that point is village life. We need a tavern. So, I mean, we're we're doing okay in, uh, in that particular regard. Uh, let's see. So, it looks like we actually have three timbers set around there. We absolutely do. That is making me consider the idea that maybe we do, in fact, want to go and get more, uh, more oxen, right? That, that seems like something we should do, but I would need money to do that. So I need to trade things, which makes me think that I probably do need a dedicated traveling trader. So let me take this guy out of the granary for a second. This guy is now a traveling trader and we're going to sell tools i guess and if i can sell the tools i can get another ox and if i get another ox then i guess at that point we can i don't know i i guess just get another hitching post and go from there right that's that's sort of the way i'm i'm looking at it here that's how it would work i would imagine <laughs> i'm really not too sure but that's we're, we're gonna give it a shot we'll see if we can maybe import Another ox and get another hitching point. Maybe, I don't know. Can we have more than one? That's that's the real question, right? I mean, used to control oxen. Oxen help in logistics. Can be relocated. Okay. So limit reached. I have to imagine the limit has been reached because we only have one ox. It's got to be. It's really got to be. More debt to the king. Oh, God. I don't. I don't know how I feel about that. That has me a little bit worried. Uh, annual royal tax. Build a tax collector. We still haven't done that. Is is that something I can do if we take a look here? I mean, the tax collector, it's, it's still locked. I don't know if we need any of this stuff. I mean, if I build a manor house, minimum settlement level is medium village. It must be built within a bailey. Cl uh, create a closed wall perimeter to design the area for your manor house. Requires a gatehouse for construction to start. Construction cost will depend on the wall length. Okay. We should probably go into that, but I'm not necessarily in any major rush to do that. Uh, what I would like to do, though, is I would like to import another ox, if I possibly can. Because if I can do that, we can hopefully move more things around, right? That's kind of the, the idea there. Although I also don't know if I actually have any way to get the money to do that. I also reckon I might need people to work here. I really have, I have, I have no idea, essentially, on that one. I've, I've got zero idea on how that works. I don't even know where my money is across the screen. Regional wealth is 12 right now. Wealth can be used for imports or taxed. We have one ox. Public order is 100%. My approval is 59%, which honestly isn't too bad. So we'll see, I guess. We'll see what comes about. Uh, we do have all this coming along. And honestly, we're up to 13 timber. So I'll tell you what, we are going to go ahead and we are going to try and build a few more burgage plots. So we'll go into village life. We'll go to burgage plot and... I want to build three more, I think. So we're going to go for... Ooh, I don't know how well this is necessarily going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. Although, isn't that the first... Oh, isn't that the, isn't that the face of it? Hold on, what if I do it this way? So something like... Like that. And then if I rotate it... 
that does give us three more. Which is pretty good, actually. So, yeah, let's let's build that. And then connect the, uh, the fronts of these guys together with some road sections. So, right about there. And then what we can do is build a few more and connect, you know, this road out this way. Which seems like a pretty good idea. So we'll build that road out to there anyway. And eventually we can sort of loop all this around and that'll be great. We are basically building a city block. But that's okay. I think, I think that's probably fine. Now let's see. We're up to 18 on regional wealth. So... I'm kind of hoping that we are actually going to get our hands on some uh, some oxen. That would be kind of great. Uh, also, having these extra burgage plots means that we can put people to work in the brewery and in the malt house. So that'll be good. That'll be kind of fantastic. We can also put people to work in the, uh, the granary as well. So let's start with the... Well, do we need to start with the malt house? Because I don't think we have anything here in stock. The flax is not being harvested for three months. You're not being harvested for three months, and you're not being harvested for three months either, so... I don't necessarily need to get ahead of myself there. I think we're okay for the time being. The trading post is still doing its thing. The livestock trading post, I guess we want to put someone to work in there. I guess it kind of makes sense. And looking at it, actually, an ox is... 10 gold. So I'm actually going to aim for three of them because we have 18 right now. So essentially, I guess, oh, we just got six gold as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to aim for three of these guys because then we can have three sort of transport things that'll hopefully make the process of moving things around a little bit easier. Again, I, I have no idea when it's going to tell me if we have more ox. I guess I need to you just pay attention to the livestock tab here, but wait, can I rename you? Oh, I totally can. All right, we're going to call you Dave. I'm going to call you Dave the Ox. 100% doing that. That's perfect. We got Dave the Ox now. All right, so we have two more families just moved in over there. Uh, let's, I guess we might as well put them to work in the malt house and in the brewery. And we also, I think, have the materials to build the tavern. So the tavern is an interesting beastie. Because I do want it to be relatively central. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking like here, to be quite honest. I, I think here will be good. We also do have a second ox now, which is beautiful. Uh, so yeah, I, I think building the tavern like right in here would be kind of cool. It'd be relatively central to everything. Just a tavern right at the middle of the residential space. That's, that's, that's pretty cool to me. Uh, so we'll get that going. We'll go ahead and bring, I guess, this road sort of straight out. We'll bring this road sort of straight over. And how do I get rid of a road? Alt and click. I'd like to remove that road and then connect this guy to there. All right, so now that's going up. That's beautiful. Uh, we do have the two ox, so does that mean I can get another one of these guys? Limit reached. Are we really on? Oh, I think we are only able to have one of these, aren't we? That's a little... Unless I can just have multiple ox at this thing. Which, by the looks of it, is actually what happens. So, fair enough. We we have multiple ox there. That's fine. That is actually okay. I don't, I don't mind that too much. So, that works out. We still... We have multiple oxen. They can move things around. We can have two people handling it. I don't think we need a third one, but... We'll get the third one anyway. And, yeah, this is fine. Also, is this done? It is. Wow, that was really quick. We're also up to 15, oh sorry, 22 months of food. It's now the fuel that's letting us down. So let's get another person working at the Woodcutter Lodge. Obviously we don't have the, uh, the staff for it right now. But what we can do, since we have 13 timber, is actually go in and get ourselves a few more burgage plots. So we'll sort of go this way with it. Oh, that's a bit big. Uh, we'll come out, say, to here. And we can kind of do something a bit like that. We'll rotate these guys around and build them. And then in terms of road connections, really all I'm interested in doing is something a bit like this. We can come over. We can sort of come around a little bit. And maybe, maybe we just connect over like this. 
Although that's a little bit nasty looking. That really is a bit nasty looking. Can I... Yeah, we can tidy that up a little bit. So yeah, something like that, I think. And then just alt-click to get rid of that road. And that works. So that'll give us four more residents. It gives us the tavern right in the middle. We can get someone working in there. We should end up with a supply of uh, malt, which we have. We are getting a supply of ale. So now looking at these guys, they have not got any entertainment yet, but I think that might be because, oh no, this place is up and working. So they should have ale soon enough. The only thing we're now waiting on is clothing, which is going to be from the Weaver's Workshop. We can put someone to work in there. And as soon as we're able to supply... Wait, are you not connected? You are connected. Okay. So as soon as we can provide the beer and the clothing, we should be able to upgrade these guys to level two burgage plots. I think. I might be wrong on that, but I... Yeah, there we go. So entertainment's now being provided. And looking here... I guess it's just a matter of waiting for the Weaver's Workshop to actually be up and running and actually, I guess, provide wool, right? Or linen or whatever it's providing. Oh, and there we go. We actually have some cloth in here. So if that gets to the market, they should then have two types of clothing available to them, which would be beautiful. Not everybody actually has coverage of the tavern, though, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, some of you guys also do need to get your vegetable gardens, so very quickly, let me go through and upgrade all of you guys to get your vegetable gardens so you can all feed yourselves and not have to rely on the food that, uh, that, you know, is being grown elsewhere. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Chickens? Provides eggs throughout the whole year, provides milk throughout the- Wait a minute! When did we get- Oh, I can afford to buy it because I have money! Oh, we're getting eggs. You guys are getting a chicken coop, 100%. I don't want more vet. I want chickens. Absolutely want chickens. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> it's really cool, actually. All right. Uh, these guys still... Uh, we need more booze, man. We really need more booze. How is um, how's the brewery doing? The brewery does have a good amount of ale. I guess it's just a matter of moving things around and possibly getting more people. But, you know, I can... That's it's fine. I can I can wait on that. I also want to see what this chicken coop looks like back here. We do actually have some chickens running around too. And they're named. Oh my god. They actually have names. That's amazing. That is so cool. That is so cool. I have, I actually love that. That's so good. I'm really really pleased with that. I also love that these guys are all going to get their uh their uh, their plots as well. So this is good. Right. So let's see here. You don't have clothing. You don't have the clothing. You have that cloth. Do I need to get this place up and running again? I think I probably do. So let's uh, let's get these stalls just up and running. And uh, does that sort us out? Not necessarily. What if I speed things up a little bit? And then we move that cloth into the market. Does that give us what we're looking for? The clothing stall right now has leather. I need the clothing stall to also have cloth. That's kind of the priority here. Although I don't know if it will, because obviously there's no one actually working there. Although this person is not making a delivery here. Okay, well, fair enough. I guess it is just a matter of waiting. Yeah, there's still 11 cloth in there, so... Maybe an ox comes by and picks it up? I don't really know. I don't really know if it matters. I just, uh... I'm just kind of happy that we've we've gotten to this point and everybody hasn't starved to death. That just, that just makes me happy. That you know that's really that's all. That's all that matters if you think about it. Did everybody starve to death? No. Great success. That's 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 how you can really <laughs> you can kind of boil this game down a little bit like that. You know, are your people alive? Good. Good job. Fantastic work. Keep it up. Uh, you know. I actually do want to bring some people down around here as well. Let's uh, let's get a few more burgage plots. So, can I do this? Is this is this a weird space for uh, for housing plots? I can do three of them. There there are some pretty chunky plots too. But honestly, oh, if I did that, that'd be a bit much. I I actually want to bring this uh, a little bit less 
So we'll sort of go like this. And is that three plots? No, that's that's going to be four of them. Let's come a little bit less again and see is this. That's three plots. So I can afford... I can afford three plots right now. If I can get one more piece of timber, I can afford four of them. But I'm really only interested in... I, I guess three right now. I think we probably only need about three of them. So... We'll go ahead and build those. And when we get some timber, we can build one in that sort of corner space as well. But what we can do with these guys is essentially go and put them to work in the granaries. And we can put them to work in the storage spaces as well. And by doing that, hopefully we can move things like booze and all of that around a little bit better. Hopefully. Very big hopefully, but hopefully nonetheless. We can also... Oh. No, they're going to work in the market, actually. Which I guess is also fair enough. That's, yeah, they can work in the market. They can work wherever. I, I think the market, it's about time we actually staff this place. So, sure. We'll do it. We'll do it that way. Uh, this clothing stall still only has the, uh, only has the, the leather in here. So, I guess we're still waiting on the cloth coming out of the Weaver's Workshop. Though I think some of it did actually just exit the Weaver's Workshop. So maybe, wait a minute, what are you doing? No, you're, you're still just sort of stood there. All right. I don't think, I don't know what this guy does. I think he just stands around. Oh wait, no, it's full. That's probably why. Do I need another clothing stall? Oh, I might need another clothing stall. Hold on a second. Is that a thing that you need multiple stalls? That's kind of wild if you do. But sure, we can build another stall right there. We'll obviously prioritize this and see how it goes. And if that fixes our problems, then hopefully we can actually upgrade everything. Oh, now that's kind of annoying. They just dumped a whole bunch of leather in there. So it didn't necessarily work. We're just selling a bunch more leather. Also not selling any firewood and the food stall has nothing in it either. So yeah, that's a little bit, uh, a little bit frustrating. What are you, what are you actually doing? What are you... Transporting leather. Okay. Well, fair enough. Uh, at the very least, we do, I suppose, have the capacity. What are you doing? Transporting leather as well. I don't want you guys transporting a bunch of leather. You're transporting grain. There was a bunch of cloth in here. I don't know where it's gone. Which has me a little bit concerned that I don't know where that cloth has gone because I feel like I should know where it's gone. It's certainly not gone into clothing definitely hasn't done that so that's definitely a bit of a concern is is what that is uh what's also kind of concerning is that these guys are not really uh not really working at this point so i kind of need more timber so i'm going to send them sort of down that way and we'll see if that's something they can kind of deal with we'll see if they go and actually get uh get timber down there not a hundred percent sure wait that's no that is the woodcutter what is the woodcutter going to go do? Fell a tree. Okay, so they are going to go chop down more trees, which is great. Bit of a distance away from everything, but not necessarily the uh, the end of the world there. We can have the ox go out and grab that, and everything should be all right. Oh, hold on a minute. Have I done everything? I mean, I sort of have. I don't. I don't know if I actually can upgrade this. That's that's what I'm. That's what I'm not sure about right because we have we have this you know checked off number of food types available in the marketplace i don't so can i not upgrade these guys i guess not maybe that's not a thing in the demo i honestly i don't have the materials oh oh now hold on a minute so i need i need this guy to go and start chopping down some trees. I need that timber. I really, really need that timber. So if we can get those guys out there to start chopping down some trees quickly, we can start upgrading some houses to level two. And I think I'm gonna start with the ones around the tavern. So like these one, two, three, four, five, six right there would be really good uh, candidates to upgrade. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. That is, uh, that is kind of what we're gonna do. Now, let's see. We'll go ahead and enable idle workers on this. 
so that we can hopefully see a little bit more timber come through. We actually have one right now, which is being moved by Dave the Ox. Good old Dave. Good old Dave. Good old Dave the Ox. What is this one? Ot? All right, we, we need to rename you. Hold on a minute. So Dave and Ot. We're going to name Dave... Hmm. Steve? And we're going to call this one Brian. There we go. So we got Dave, Steve, and Brian. Uh, Brian is actually sitting chilling somewhere at the minute. I have no idea where Brian actually is. Uh, I think Brian might be... Is Brian in here? I, I actually have no idea. No idea. He's, he's chilling somewhere. He might be out working. I'm not 100% sure. That's, that's Dave. That's Steve. I don't see a third one anywhere, so... I, I, I have no idea. We're also down to eight months of fuel. I feel like I really should be dealing with this this fuel situation a little bit more seriously than I have been, but obviously it's kind of more important to be Nate. Wait a minute. There's Brian. There, there's so there's 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 Brian. All right, we do have all three of them out there working. Perfect. I mean that's exactly what we want, right? We want these guys out there picking up some timber. We have four timber now, which means we have houses ready to upgrade. Look at this. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. So there we go. Burgage plot level two. It's under construction. I I really want to see what this looks like. This this is the... I've never been at this point. I've never been at this point of the game. This is completely new to me. So what does it look like when an existing place is under construction? Oh, they're adding... To, oh, no, they're taking it apart. Oh, that's so cool. Hold on. Cinematic mode for this. I actually really want to see what this looks like. Oh, it's going to have a higher roof on it as well. Oh, that's so good. So it takes it like it actually renovates the house. That's wild. Like it full on. Oh, my God. It actually renovates the place. That is actually kind of nuts. Look at that. That is so good. I'm so pleased. I am so pleased with that. We need two more of those and we complete the comforts and convenience with 512 days left. So, 100%, we need more timber. We absolutely need more timber. So hopefully we'll have the ox come out here. There is a bit laying around. It is, again, a bit of a distance, though. Maybe we should let them just... When I mean, you're working, right? Yeah, these guys are planting trees. Why don't we just... Why don't we just say the work area is, like, here? Right, we'll just do like a big work area right there. And that's going to be a bit closer to everything, so hopefully they can go chop down some trees up that way. And actually, what is so what does this actually do? So to upgrade this, I don't think I can upgrade this again. Which I guess isn't the end of the world, right? It's, again, it's a demo, so... I'm not expecting to be able to upgrade absolutely everything. It's a little, maybe a little bit silly of me to expect to be able to upgrade everything to level 3 and 4 and 5 and and all of that. Really, all I want is these guys to come over and chop down another tree so I can get a bit more timber so I can upgrade two more of these so I can get this bloody quest done. It really, it's been going for a minute. There we go. So upgrade you. So that's two of them. And then like I said, we get four more around the uh, around the, the tavern that we can go ahead and upgrade as well. We'll let people work in there if they're idle too. That seems like a great way to live, right? Oh man, I'm a bit bored. I don't really have anything to do. I'm going to go work in the pub. That's that. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of here for it. I'm really kind of here for it. Also, this place is going to have a different design by the looks of it when compared to the one to its left. So uh, I'm really curious about this. I want to see what this is going to look like. Oh, it is. It's just going to have the, the peaked roof again. Okay. I thought it was going to have like a little overhang or something. It also does look like it could be taller. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. And I've got more I can upgrade, right? So we'll go ahead and get this one. Upgrade you. And now that's three of three of the upgraded houses. Well, it will be when this one's actually upgraded. God, I, I genuinely, I cannot express how much I love the fact that parts of the house do, in fact, get taken apart. Like, you can just see these little panels of wood just disappearing. Like, that, is, that level of detail is so good. 
It's so good. And then the roof goes away, and then they rebuild the the roof using new materials and bigger materials and thicker materials. It's just it's so good. I just I can't. I just I just can't get away from how how impressed I am with just how this game works. It is it's it is genuinely it is genuinely nuts. It really, really is. Uh, I also think we might have a couple of ox that are stuck back here. Which is a bit of a pickle. We have one over here chilling. We have uh we have some timber sitting around there as well. I'm not too sure. What do we need here? We need one more piece of timber brought along here. Now I think if I go into settings, there is an oxen stuck button. Which actually did seem to work there. So we'll go ahead and just unstick them again. And uh I guess I guess Steve wants to chill in there. He's waiting for a guide. That's fine. Uh, this one is bringing along. This is uh, who was it? That's uh, that's Brian. You know, bringing along the timber again. We'll go ahead and get this place built. And then once this is built, I really hope we get something interesting for this next quest. I'm not gonna lie. Really looking for something good here. That's that's quest completed. We do have a new message. Look at it. How good does this look? What does this say? My home is my castle. Good craftsmanship marries form and function. It is solid and reliable, but it dreams of perfection. It's a lot like leadership that way. Perhaps that is why you've insisted that your servants drag your favorite chair to the settlement. It's a lordly chair, the back covered in exquisite carvings of unicorns and griffins. The well-worn arms feel secure, but it is heavy, and it looks out of place in a shoddy tent. It deserves a place of honor in a great hall where you could welcome guests or retreat with your retinue, I don't know what that word is, or conduct business around the fire. You have provided homes and comforts for your people. Now it's time to plan your own residence. Your manor will speak of your power to your own people and to the lords of neighboring lands. We need to construct a manor house. Now the manor house, I think we had a look at this, didn't we? We can go into administration and that's where the bailey comes in. So I think, I think for my residence, well, I don't really know where to put it to be quite honest. We have this, this chunk of land right here. We have this space back here. It's a bit of a hill admittedly, but might not be too bad. Let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's. Uh, I don't really know, to be quite honest. Um, hmm. I really, I actually really don't know where I'm going to put this. I guess we could. No, we can't align it to that at all. We also don't have the timber to do this, actually. So I, I kind of need a whole bunch of timber before I can do any of this. So I need I need my woodcutter to go out, which makes me think. I mean, we got we've got. Five months of fuel. We're not even in winter right now. I'll tell you what we should do. We should go into gathering. We should go to woodcutter lodge and we should get another woodcutter. So let's get a woodcutter that can go up onto uh, to this road right here. And let's get this thing going as quickly as we possibly can. It kind of needs to be a priority. And I guess if we're getting another woodcutter, we need more people. We need people that can work in the uh, the woodcutter's lodge. And I suppose getting four more people wouldn't be the end of the world. So let's... Well, actually, we don't even have the materials to do that. So, in fact, we do just need to let things go for a little bit. Uh, so that we can get the materials to build more of the, uh, the burgage plots. Because once we do that, we can get the people to go and work at the uh, the woodcutter's lodge, and we can get the people to go and work at places like the the windmill, for example. We can get more people working on the farms, and so with a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, we can just get more people working everywhere that we need them to be working. Uh, we do also have a bunch of places that are upgradable, but again, we we kind of need people. That's that's kind of where we're at. Is we kind of need people. And actually, what I think I'm going to do is we'll get one more piece of timber. We're at five right now. If we can get six, we can go ahead and just build three more plots. We're actually at seven now, so if we can get one more, we'll just build eight more. 
uh, or sorry, four more behind these guys. We'll bring in four more people. We'll put them to work. Everything's hopefully going to be good. I do want uh, one more, I think, working at the logging camp. And we'll put two of them working up at the woodcutter lodge. In fact, we could, uh, we could put two more in here. Timber is going to be a really important resource. So actually all four of these new workers, once we get these plots uh, going, all four of them can immediately go to work. And that'll hopefully keep us good. And uh, that'll then give us the materials to actually build my manor house. So construction, we want to go to village life. We want to go to burgage plot. We're going to do something a bit like this. And it doesn't need to be absolutely enormous, but something respectable, I think, would be nice. And I think, uh, I think that right there is a good looking size. So let's go ahead and connect. Wait, why can I not connect these guys together? Have I done them the wrong way? Uh oh, I think I did them the wrong way around. And I don't think, oh, I do get the materials back if I demolish these. That's perfect. All right. So demolish all of those. I don't think I rotated them. I think that was my mistake there. Uh, so we'll do this again. Yeah, I didn't. I absolutely did not rotate those. Uh, so spin them around, build them. And then, yes, we need to uh, connect these roads. We could connect directly over to the church road, which seems like a fair way to do things. Uh, but we can also bring, I guess, a road sort of straight out of here. And it'd be nice to get some curvature on this. Just something a little bit kind of more natural looking. Maybe goes up to, uh, let me just round like this. Doesn't have to connect to the other roads at all. Although it probably could. Something like that, I guess. A little bit nasty looking, but not, uh, not the end of the world. I think that's fine. It'll, it'll certainly work. Uh, so yeah, that'll be four more workers. We can speed things up to whatever it is, 16 times normal speed. And in doing that, we're now in a situation where we will be able to get more logs from the logging camps and where we absolutely will be able to get a decent supply of fuel. We have two years worth of food right now. We have four months of fuel and we are approaching winter. That is a little bit worrying. That is, uh, that is a little bit scary. So definitely need to get these guys out here. Definitely need to get them working. Uh, I am a little concerned that I guess they are probably going to go work in the markets, though. So let's just, you know, let's let's ignore that for a second. And let's get you guys working in the logging camp, which they now are. This place is about to get built as well. So hopefully we'll have a... Yeah, there we go. Another one working in the logging camp. These two places can go together. And then they can go work in the woodcutter's lodge. So now, essentially... What I'm gonna do is get these guys upgraded. We actually have a bit of money, so let's go for... Let's go for a goat shed. Let's get some milk from these guys. I don't have goats, but I do now, I guess. Uh, let's get some, some milk from them as well, and then we'll go for vegetables, and once this one's built, we'll go for vegetables there as well. We might as well diversify our food, you know? We might as well. We have some eggs, and uh, these guys can just have vegetables. Now let's see, is this working? It should have more than one worker, but apparently it doesn't. That's interesting. I think we might have just got the second. Yeah, there we go. So we have the second one now. And we also have enough uh, timber to upgrade a few more of these places. So let's upgrade you. Let's upgrade you. And then we'll upgrade this one. Like I said, we'll get the six around the tavern upgraded. And then we can start working on my manor house. I have about two years still to do the manor house. It really shouldn't take that long. And uh, I think, I think in terms of space for it, maybe we build it sort of in here near the market, make it all sort of luxurious like. Might not be a bad idea. And we could, if I really wanted to, disconnect this road and really build it right on there in the market. That might be kind of cool. Might be. Or I just sort of build it off of this, uh, this burgage plot, which I'd kind of rather do. Let's, uh, let's get rid of this road. I don't really want the market connecting at the back there. It looks a little bit weird. Although if I do this... Actually, yeah, if I do this, can I get another single plot in here? Is, is that a thing we can do here? I absolutely can. And I, I don't hate that. And then I can do my manor house 
in this space. So yeah, go ahead and build that. Go ahead and give me a road that comes off of here and goes to there. And give me a road that sort of goes like this. And that, honestly, that's enough space for my, for my, uh, my manor house. I don't know how much material I'm actually going to need for this thing. I've really got no idea. But I guess we'll find out. So the Bailey is going to go like this. So let's see. That's, uh, that's one timber. That's two timber. That's four timber. Oh, God. All right. This might be, this might be a little bit ambitious, uh, is what this might be. That is, uh, six timber right there. And that is going to be eight. So that's, that's a lot, but we can go ahead and set that to be built. It is going to need a gatehouse, which... Can I rotate this guy? Is that an option? Put it this way. I... Hmm. Kind of need it to face the other way. Wait, I don't know if I do need it to face the other way, actually. All right, we'll, we'll do it there. That should be fine. So that's how we get in there. And then the manor house itself, kind of huge. But essentially, it's going to go like this. Well, so, you know, don't snap to roads. It's, it's going to live right there. So that should be fine. What does the manor house need? 10 timber. All right. So we'll let them build this. It shouldn't take too long. It's in a pretty good spot. We're going to have some neighbors, which is honestly okay by me. I'm not super worried about that. I don't love the idea of having neighbors, but that's fine. Uh, I'm also realizing I probably should have just... Was there not a road here originally? I think there is a road there. It might just be sort of hidden. Uh, I probably should have just taken this right up to the back of these houses. Having the roads around this is kind of weird, but yeah, it's probably all right. Uh, we also have uh, not enough money, so you guys are getting vegetables as well. And a uh, eh, little alley through there is, is kind of weird, but yeah, it's probably all right. Uh, also, we should end up with a decent amount of timber now that we do have three guys working there. We're up to, oh, we're down to two months of fuel, though. That's worrying. That's actually really worrying. I don't, I don't love that. Let's give you guys a really nice radius to, uh, to work with there. So you can go out and do your thing and hopefully get me a bunch more fuel so people aren't going to be freezing. And then once we get that bit of extra timber, which, uh, what are you guys doing? Gathering, going inside, waiting, procrastinating. Okay. Do we have timber laying around? I don't know that we do. Oh god, I really, I, now I'm getting nervous. Now that we're down real, oh no, hold on a minute. Why have we just gone up to 11 months of fuel? How did that happen? How did we, <laughs> how did we just turn that around so suddenly? What just happened? That doesn't make any sense, but I kind of appreciate it. I'm going to be honest. That's <laughs> really kind of confused on what just, uh, on what just happened, but, uh, all right, fair enough, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough. So this actually wind up being more of a pain than I thought it was going to be. I had to completely rebuild the Bailey because two of my ox got stuck in it and the little debug option to unstick them just didn't work. I mean, you can even see there the ox are actually having trouble getting into this space, which is a little bit frustrating, but hopefully they can figure it out. and We actually can build this manor house because I want to see what it looks like. I want it to be cool and good. It also happens to take a whole bunch of materials, and good lord, they really are getting stuck around there, aren't they? Those those ox are not having a good, a, a good time. The people aren't... Oh, there we go. The ox got away. The people are also kind of struggling a little bit as well, but... I mean, hopefully... Hopefully this actually builds. Because again, like I said, I had to rebuild it. it. It didn't really work the first time around. This time is looking a little bit more successful. I did let my timber sort of build up. We had like 39 timber when I started working on the, on the bailey, on the walls and the gatehouse itself. So in theory, what we've done here is we've made sure we have enough of everything so that this can just build. The only problem is, once again, the, the ox are getting a little bit stuck. But there we go go we now have this place up and running which is kind of very exciting it's very exciting indeed we this thing is currently disconnected from the road network which isn't exactly ideal we have people living in here which is also kind of crazy do i need to 
how do you get connected to the road network? That's that's the real question. What is this? Oh god. I got the feeling this isn't actually connected to the road, but uh, let's let's get rid of that road. Let's get rid of that road. Let's just bring this sort of over like this. We'll connect it there and connect all these guys together. And that should now be fine. Are you now connected to the road? Disconnect. Oh, God. Oh, dear. I don't know if this needs to be connected to the road network. What it is doing, though, is giving us a tremendous amount of workers. So let's get some working in there. Let's get some working in there. Let's make sure you guys... I mean, we have some money here. Let's give you guys... I don't know, some chickens, I guess. We'll give you some eggs. We'll give you some eggs as well. And then we can go around and we can upgrade this plot, which is the last one next to that that I wanted to upgrade. We can upgrade a bunch more of these as well, which would be kind of fantastic. And this is just, oh, that's, that's the inside of this place. This is kind of cool to have. I've got to be honest. It's, it's cool that there's like a lot of people in there. I really, I, I like that a whole lot. That's that's really, really cool. Uh, in terms of construction, we can now actually build a tax collector as well, and we can build a garrison tower. It's a manor module, extra accommodation for 12 retainers. I think the tax collector might be what I want to get my hands on, though, because... I mean, to be to be honest, we kind of need to pay the crown before the crown comes a-knocking looking for what they're owed. So... The tax collector building, I guess, can go right about there. Not too sure if the ox can actually get into that or not, but we'll find out. And then the garrison tower is a really cool building. I just don't think we need it right now. I'm not really too concerned about that. I think my biggest concern is going to be dealing with this fuel situation. Fuel, I mean, we have 14 months of it. But I'd like more, you know? I, I would definitely like more. I'm also wondering what we haven't done yet. I guess sheep farms and pastures are about the only thing we haven't really touched on. That's that's the only thing I can think of. So, well, armies as well, but I don't know if armies are even a thing at the uh, at the moment. We finished the whole manor house thing. I don't really see any other quests, so... I mean, we can keep upgrading. I don't know that that's going to do anything for us. The upgrade tree isn't really a thing in uh, in the demo. So, I guess let's just spend some points to, uh, or some, some materials, to upgrade some of these guys. We can go around and just upgrade some of the houses and make the place a little bit fancier. Doesn't really hurt anybody to do that, so we'll, we'll upgrade a bunch of them. And I guess what we can do is leave it there for this episode as well. I wasn't really expecting to be as productive today as I have been, but I'm quite happy with how things have turned out. Hopefully you are as well. This has actually been so much fun, uh, just, just building all of this. I think next time what we can do is go and look into the sheep situation and see if anything comes of that. And at that point, if there's nothing else to do in this demo, that is going to be it for mana lords until it hits steam early access so thank you very much for watching everybody it's been an absolute pleasure as always and as always i'll see you next time Bye bye